What could be more frightening than struggling for air and not being able to breathe pro properly? I, for one, really can't think of anything. And for 300,000 of the one in seven Australians aged over 40 years who suffer from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, this is their daily reality. To be more specific, chronic refractory breathlessness encompasses a range of sensations such as tightness in the chest, difficulty breathing, and shortness of breath that is present despite all medical attempts to treat the underlying causes. We also know that chronic refractory breathlessness is also common in other conditions such as people who suffer from heart failure and neuromuscular disease and can severely affect quality of life and the ability to perform daily tasks including walking. And the only proven therapy to relieve breathlessness is medications that are typically used for pain relief such as low dose morphine. Now many of these pivotal trials are providing the evidence showing that low dose morphine does in fact relieve breathlessness have been led by our oncology colleagues from Australia, Europe and the US who are actually co-authors on the current Respirology paper that we're talking about today. However, as you can see here by all the equipment, Danny and I as sleep scientists and we are particularly interested in understanding the effects of common medications on sleep and breathing. Now we know that clinically high dose morphine can lead to breathing stoppages during sleep or what's known as central sleep apnea. But the effects of lower dose morphine on sleep and breathing are really less well defined. And recent pilot studies actually suggest that sleep and breathing stability may improve in certain people who suffer from sleep disorder breathing. And it has recently been proposed that there's a bidirectional link between pain symptoms and sleep, where disrupted sleep worsens pain and improving pain with medications such as uh, morphine can also improve sleep and vice versa. And really it was with this link in mind that we undertook the current study, the goal of which was really to determine if a similar link exists between sleep and breathlessness, such that low dose morphine may actually improve sleep in people with chronic breathlessness and contribute to the known improvements in symptoms of breathlessness with low dose morphine. So we would encourage all the viewers to read our paper in respirology and find out whether this is indeed the case. Thank you. Thank you very much.